the news from the United States and we're talking about the Baltimore tragedy. Now, the Coast Guard has ended the search and rescue operations for the six people who were on the Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore when it collapsed. The governor has said that it was a heartbreaking conclusion after the Coast Guard ended uh, the rescue operations for the six people who were on the bridge when it collapsed. And this collapse occurred after a massive container ship lost power early on Tuesday and crashed into the bridge, sending people and vehicles into the river. The governor has said ahead of the collision, the crew notified officials with a mayday call that helped save lives. And so this evening at about uh, 7.30, we are going to suspend the active search and rescue efforts. Coast Guard's not going away. None of our partners are going away. But we're just going to transition to a different phase. And uh, U.S. President Joe Biden has said that this wasn't an intentional attack, ruling out an act of terrorism. Everything so far indicates that this was a terrible accident. At this time, we have no other indication, no other reason to believe there's any intentional act here. Personnel on board the ship were able to alert the Maryland Department of Transportation that they had lost control of their vessel, as you all know and reported. As a result, local authorities were able to close the bridge to traffic before the bridge was struck, which undoubtedly saved lives. And the Indian Embassy has put out a tweet saying our heartfelt condolences to all affected by the unfortunate accident at the Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore. For any Indian citizens that may be affected and require assistance, the Embassy of India has created a dedicated hotline. Please reach us uh, on uh, this US number, plus one, two zero two seven one seven one nine. Nine, six, and kindly avoid directing uh, routine uh, queries uh, uh, is what they have put out. And they have put out that emergency number for people to reach out with any kind of queries. And we have uh, my colleague uh, Namrata Barar uh, joining us uh, uh, to get us more on this. Namrata, not too far from uh, New York, uh, this incident that took place as far as Baltimore is concerned. But the governor there calling it a heartbreaking conclusion, uh, suspending all rescue operations. Can you tell us about the six people uh, who are missing, now presumed to have uh, not made it out as the river is 50 feet deep? Were they all construction workers? Yes, they were this... Uh is going to be the story of the heroes, those six people who actually managed to save hundreds of lives by responding to Dali's call for Mayday and then stopping the traffic from coming into this heavily commuted bridge. Obviously, the timing of this at 1.30 a.m. Uh, was actually a little bit of a silver lining because this uh, was not peak hours. They're usually... Uh, this uh, this bridge, which is 1.1 miles long, uh, stretches about an 11-mile blue-collar worker heartline of Baltimore and connects the entire Northeast Corridor. So repercussions would have been humongous, to say the least. Uh, but these six people being honored as heroes here in the United States, uh, really giving up their lives that fall from 185 feet into eight degrees Celsius waters and then hours and hours of the search and rescue effort, which resulted in sad news. But let me also uh, touch base, Divya, on information that NDTV has gathered. We have managed to speak to the owners of this vessel uh, owned by the Grace Ocean uh, Company. We managed to speak to their spokesperson. And they have confirmed an important bit of information. Now, we have extensively reported that all 22 crew members who are Indian are safe. Uh, they are safe and sound. They've been talking to the U.S. Coastal Guard right now and that questioning about how that mechanical failure of such proportions has taken place. But the two pilots who were navigating these, uh, this ship were indeed uh, Americans they are specialist experts, in fact, the best of the mariners whose job is to steer and navigate these complex, humongous vessels in and out of the port. Um, so these were the two pilots who were in control. Uh, I have also spoken to the uh, Grace Ocean Company, which assures that all protocol was followed, all standard procedures were followed. These pilots were under complete control till the mechanical issue of a complete blackout occurred in the Dali vessel. 
Uh, so just confirming, NDTV confirms 22 crew members, all Indian safe and sound. Two pilots who uh, are from the Baltimore port, also safe and sound. However, they were in control when this accident occurred. And I've driven on this bridge, uh, in fact, as recently as last few weeks. I can tell you the extent of damage that can take place because it sets up a chain of complex insurance and reinsurance complaints. We talked about supply chain logistics for, uh, problems, as this is one of the largest ports on the Northeast uh, American coast. Uh, this will trigger off a complex web of claims and counterclaims from workers' insurance uh, to ship vessels to obviously delays that we are witnessing immediately here in the United States. Well, uh, Namrata, when we talk about, uh, you know, Dali has experienced momentary loss of uh, propulsion and that is what led to the collision. Of course, it will be uh, the voyage uh, data recorder that will be critical as far as the investigation is concerned. Uh, but, uh, you know, uh, hasn't the height of the bridge been an issue that the authorities had been considering to increase by pumping up the pillars in the past as well? Yes, there's a lot of commentary now coming on on how b uh, better this could have been prevented uh, even in terms of safety guards being put and how certain issues which were believed to be addressed in terms of watertight compartments and so forth did not actually entail as per plans. But, uh, you know, the crux of the matter is there will be a lot of hindsight analysis. There will be a lot of retrospective uh, decision making taking place. But the crux of the matter is $1.1 billion in the outset. This is just to repair the damaged portion of the bridge. That's a given. But what it sets off is, you know, hours and months and possibly even years, people are saying, of how the shipping system uh, in its complex web is going to operate. Uh, so that is something that uh, we are picking up here from analysts, uh, even here on Wall Street, who are talking about uh, possible repercussions on marinas, insurance, as well as shipping stocks at the very onset. I've also spoken uh, to sources who seem to suggest that uh, so far we are going with the accident uh, theory, which is basically that this was following all standard protocol except for the mechanical failure which resulted into the propulsion issue and the power outage that took place with the result tally hitting into that pillar. Uh, but the investigation is still on, and it's going to be a very laborious, detailed investigation. We know the members were still on board, the crew members were still on board, being questioned by the U.S. Postal Guard. Indian authorities have been uh, helpful in terms of extending support, like you mentioned in that tweet uh, that we've been showing here on NDTV from the Indian Embassy. However, they do not have a direct linkage because all these crew members really pretty much operate on merchant navy visas so they do not have uh, sort of an indian linkage now remember we've underlined this is a singapore based company uh, there are also sub layers of companies so the operator the manager of this company is different from the owner of the company and is different from where the uh, the vessel itself has been sourced uh, manufactured as we know in south korea but owned by the Singapore-based company. So there, there is uh, this intricate web uh, that is also part of this investigation. And uh, we will try and get you more and more of the latest statements as they come in. Uh, but like I said, this is going to be a very laborious uh, investigation. A scale of this nature is not something that the U.S. Coastal Guard and the, the president as well as the White House will take um, will take in any which way lightly. So the investigation is going to go on for weeks here. Right. Well, uh, many lessons uh, to be learned uh, after this uh, tragedy, which has resulted in six people losing their lives, but many lives were saved due to that May Day call. Thank you so much, Namrata, for getting us all the details.